If you'd like to learn about how to lose weight effectively, here's a few things we're going to be covering in our, in our webinar that will answer these things and show you how to not only lose weight, but lose it realistically. So you don't have to buy box food, takes medication, takes stimulants. You can do this right at your local grocery store, train certain habits and understand why you may not be losing weight. First thing, we're gonna teach you why exercise doesn't work. Exercise is a stressor to your body. It's a good stress, but it's still a stress. So when you stress your body that may be under stress physiologically, which means your nerve system and internally, you're in a fight and flight, you're always on edge, you're going, you're going, you're going, you're busy lifestyle, your nerve system's going in hyperdrive, all this is going to do is add more gasoline on the fire. So many times you work out, you get done, and you're like, yes, I'm pumped, and you're exhausted. You get up the next day on the scale, and you're the same weight. You get done after a week or two or three or four weeks, an hour at the gym, and nothing's happening. I'm all for exercise. I exercise a minimum five days a week. I play competitive rugby at age 53. I'm active. I play. I run. I lift weights, and I sprint. But this can throw it into a downhill spiral. So you got to be very careful with that. Even high intensity exercise. If your body's under stress, all that's going to do is add stress. So we're going to teach you that and how you can start without exercise. And then eventually as your body heals, then you go to exercise to help maintain the weight. Second, hormones. You, and many of it is with hormones. Many of your hormones, your thyroid isn't working. So metabolism's off. Cortisol, leptin, insulin, if, the, if you are eating a poor diet, sugar, carbohydrate diet, this is doing this and it's all burning out. And what happens is you get tested and your hormones aren't functioning, your body's under stress, your hair's falling out. In fact, we just had a patient, she's lost about 20 pounds just in the first few weeks and she noticed that her hair's growing back already better. Isn't that interesting? So they say it's all your thyroid and your hormones. Well, they do not need meds. They don't need medication. You need to find out why your hormones are not functioning properly. Correct that, then your body will begin healing. We'll address that. And is age a factor? <laughs> I'm 53 and I've, I, I've kind of stumbled upon this in my early 40s when I was doing a lot of exercise, running marathons, ultra marathons, eating a very clean diet, but I was putting on belly fat. And as you get older, especially women, pre-menopausal, menopausal, post-menopausal, post your hormones are in a state of stress, changes, which is okay and normal, but if your body's not functioning, it just goes into hyperdrive and you gain weight. So age is a factor, but it necessarily doesn't have to be if you do the right things. So as you get older, it gets harder in a way because many times you've tried to do this to your body many times and you've exhausted it. Physiologically, neurologically, your body says, look, you've done it way too many times. I'm going to be very cautious. Well, our program, I'm going to teach you just in the webinars, how you can use, utilize certain supplements and change your diet and what, what meals to skip, what meals not to skip to actually kick this in so you start to begin losing weight. And then once you learn how to do this, then you'll have weight loss strategies for a lifetime. So hope to see you on my webinar. And if you have friends or family struggling, get on. It's a free webinar, information. Um, I have programs that if you want or you need my help or you want to talk to me, you can do that. But it's, it's not for that. It's about teaching you some things and then giving you an offer if you need to. So um, hope that helps. Stay healthy, stay thin, stay active. God bless. Have a great day.